Hey guys, it's Meredith, creator of Pause Box. I wanted to come on today, jump in, because um, there was a post on Facebook that um, I reposted. It was actually not my post. And it's gotten a lot of engagement. And that tells me that this is like a very big issue for a lot of us. So the post said, ultra independence is a trauma response. And I shared how that hit me like a ton of bricks because I am so independent and I had never seen the connection between my hyper independence and my wound. And today um, I'm feeling really rather raw about it. Um, and I've been having conversations with a lot of you in Facebook. Um, just understanding the experience because as high achieving, perhaps overachieving, type A, go get shit done women, we fall short in the area of asking for help and taking care of ourselves, which is ironically usually asking for help. <laughs> it's circular. Um, so I wanted to come on because I wanted to share sort of my experience of this question, but also share some of the comments that came up because it's uh, it's really powerful um, and it feels good to be in community around this as, um, as strong women. So where it's showing up for me right now, I'm, um, I'm at a point in my business where I need systems and I need a team. And I am so hesitant to move forward because no one can do it as well as I can, right? Have you been stuck there? You know, I am really good at what I do. I never drop balls. I um, make shit happen. I don't know how I pull it out, but I do. And I can, I'm 100% reliable when it comes to commitments. And so I thought this was about me not trusting other people to be as committed and it may be, let's be clear. There are people who drop balls. But what the question posed to me today by a very thoughtful soul was, what if the mistrust I have in, in asking for others to care for me, care for me, support me, is really a mistrust in myself? And this dog is breathing so loudly. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear him. Juicy, you can come here. Um, he's my, he's my therapy dog. He always comes up when I'm feeling emotional. Um, so hopefully, um, you guys got to sing for poor connection. What I want to say in this short time is my mistrust of others is really a mistrust of myself, right? Because where can I start giving to myself? If I'm going to ask others to give to me, I have to first um, practice giving to myself and there's no irony that I started a company called pause box because pausing is an ultimate gift to yourself and um, being playful that's something that doesn't come easily for me um, although when I'm in my when I'm in my tribe and I'm with my girls I am playful as hell so I'm gonna edit that normally I'm not playful which means I uh, normally I'm not connected to my tribe the last part was nourishment. Um, if you don't take time to nourish yourself, and usually for me that's pause, it could be a hike, it could be hanging out with your huge breathing dog in the backyard. Um, that's where the trust gets established. And I'm still learning, right? I teach this stuff and I'm still learning. How can I show up and put the brakes on all the productivity so that I can nourish myself, so that I can then create the trust of not only myself, but in others. Others will take care of me too. So that's the lesson I'm taking away. Um, I heard a lot of comments around that inner critic, um, control, uh, criticism, like being really critical of others and how they do things, AKA control. Um, proving gets wrapped up in this because there's a lot of proving your value, proving your worth. Um, that's a huge story for me. Um, and vulnerability hello, there you are. Uh, it feels really vulnerable to rely on others. Um, 
And I think that's why we need to rely on ourselves to nourish ourselves, right? We rely on ourselves, we're uber relied on for all the productivity things. But what if we relied on ourselves to give ourselves a break, be tender, um, treat ourselves to nourishment in whatever form that takes for you. So this is a journey and I know that this triggered a lot of conversation. Um, we are meant to be in community. We are meant to be whole and interdependent. Um, I personally was raised in a very independent family, uh, very self-contained, no needs were shared, um, no way to help others. So I, I learned through my own, the modeling I had, that you just take care of your own shit. Um, but I also know that's not the way that you expand and grow and create incredible transformation in the world. And I know that if you're listening, you're one of those people who wants to have huge impact and to make a difference. And we can't do that alone. So this is a growth edge for so many of us. And I'm right there with you. And I just wanted to um, share the message. Would love to hear what's coming up for you as well. Ciao for now. Bye.